Hi there folks, it's Jonathan Denwood from WP Tonic and in this video I'm going to be trying to explain to you what are the differences between Buddy Press and Buddy Pro Boss. Buddy Press and Buddy Boss. That's a mouth twister, isn't it? They're both great platforms. There's a There's a clear leader in my mind. And also, I just want to share the basic things that you need to know before you choose one against the other. I think got some great insights. I'll be back in a few moments, folks. So you're looking at Buddy Press and Buddy Boss, and you're trying to work out what's the differences and which one could be the best tool to do the things which you're looking for. So for you to make a decision, I think you need to know a little bit about the background. Now, both work on WordPress. They add functionality through a plugin and also with Buddy Boss a theme. Um, WordPress is really powerful. It drives about 43 to 45% of all websites in the world. Really flexible and unlike some SaaS platforms like Mighty Networks or Circle, if there's a key bit of design or functionality that you really need, you're not in tracked because it's open source software. Um, you can have it customized and it's not a dead end. You do have to have it hosted uh, and you do have to organize that hosting. Now, when it comes to the two platforms on WordPress, BuddyPress was the original. Um, it was It's totally free and it's been around a number of years. It works it was for a period of time kind of semi-dormant until about a year ago it had a, a period of development an active development and it had a lead developer who was a great developer and he's still around in the community um but it almost went into a semi-dormant phase because the developer, the lead developer had to make a living and he got busy doing other stuff. Now, the origins of Buddy Boss was it was a, a small team of developers that used to do a lot of customization of Buddy Press. And they saw that um, it was kind of semi dormant and they thought they made money by doing a lot of customizations, but they thought they could make uh, a better business. And if they took Buddy Press and adapted it and added a lot of additional functionality, they would get a much better product. So they did that, and it's called forking. So they, and because Buddy Press is open source software. They're totally le it's totally legal to do that. So they did that and they added a theme to it and they added functionality to the theme and also they added functionality to the Buddy Press plugin and they renamed the new kind of plugin with the theme and they called it Buddy Boss. And over uh probably a 10 year period, they have improved it, improved it and improved it. Now, they offer a plugin, the actual plugin, you can download that for free. Um, and it is in some ways, even the free plugin is the improvement on Buddy Press. But really, to get the full functionality, you do need to buy the theme, the master theme, um, which for a one-site license is below $250 a year. So it's not outrageous compared to the SaaS alternatives. 
Um, and then you have to renew that to get updates and support. Now, um, the other thing is um, Buddy Boss actually gives you a lot more functionality than Buddy Press because Buddy Press is a social um, media platform where you get some of the functionality that you would get if like on Facebook group or some similar social media platform. Now with Buddy Boss, they've added um, and improved that. So you get a very stylish looking social media discussion platform, but they've also added a forum and Buddy Press had a sister called BB Press, which was in the same scenario. It was, it was very popular, and then it had a dormant period. And the Buddy Boss took BB Press, bought it again, and they bundled BB Press and Buddy Press into one product. So not only do you get a social media type platform you get a forum as well and they've combined it all together and also um the theme they added functionality to the themes so to get the full experience you do need the plugin and the theme um and they made it totally um, mobile responsive so even on most mobile devices smartphones tablets you're going to get a really great experience I'm going to end it now because I go on for quite a while. And I'm going to do other videos that explain some of the basics of it. To end this, um, I've also written a great article. you find the link in the video description underneath. And that gives you a load more information about this. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, hit, hit the bell and subscribe to the channel. I'm making a ton of videos about membership, course creation, course marketing, buddy boss. I go, I cover the whole area so you can build a great business, a great e-learning business on WordPress. I see you soon, folks. Bye.